All right, I got some shocking news out of Northern India, which just proves that Hinduism is not all as peaceful and pluralistic as it's portrayed as, okay? Hinduism, just like Islam, just like Roman Catholicism, just like Talmudic Judaism, and just like militant atheism, is a violent, murderous, bloody religion. That simple. I have articles on my website proving that the Hindu scriptures promote violence against non-Hindus. And stories like this prove that about these Hindu nationalist groups attacking Christians and attacking churches. So I'm going to read you this article from uh, uh, International Christian Concern. It says, on February 16th, members of the ABVP, a student wing of the BJP, vandalized a, a church in India's Uttar Pradesh state. When local Christians reported the incident to the police, authorities did little to investigate the crime. Pastor Simon Harsid, head of the Pastors Association of Bareilly, hope I'm saying that right, told the local media that members of the ABVP vandalized Sadar Methodist Church in Bareilly uh, in an effort to stroke to stoke communal tensions. National slogans such as Jai Sari Ram were repeated in paint or repeatedly painted across the doors and walls of Burley's oldest church. On February 17th, Pastor Par Parsad and the other members of the church attempted to report the incident to local police. However, police officers attempted to block the submission of the complaint, telling the Christian victims that nothing had happened. Only after pictures of the vandalism were produced did the police agree to investigate the matter. On Feb Later on February 17th, police went to the Siddhar Methodist Church and questioned Pastor Parsad regarding where, where he receives his salary and how he manages to feed his family. Pastor Parsad was shocked to see that the police did little to investigate the vandalism complaint. This isn't surprising at all, because you go to, because uh, Western Hindus, just like Muslims, Western Hindus are all peaceful and pluralistic. They'll accept other religions. They'll accept religious freedom. They'll accept liberty of conscience. They'll accept, you know, freedom of speech, you know, the right to criticize other religions, which are all biblical concepts. But then you go to India, a lot of these radical Hindus, they want Hindu theocracy. They want a Hindu state where Hinduism is a state religion and other religions are basically banned and, and subjugated that simple. And there are numerous passages in the Hindu scriptures, again I've showed this on my website, where there are numerous passages in Hindu scriptures that also condemn the Buddhists, condemn uh, Jainism, I think is what it's called, and condemn other religions, even atheism. You know, and amen to that, atheism is wicked and satanic, but it just goes to show that Hinduism is not all peaceful and pluralistic, it's not all as peaceful and pluralistic as it's portrayed as. Hinduism is a violent, murderous, bloody religion when, it, when you get down to it, that simple. So I just want to show you that, pretty uh, not surprising when you really know, know the core tenets of theology of Hinduism, reading their, their Rig Vedas, which is like their Psalms, and it's just not surprising at all. So just wanted to show you that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.